Good afternoon students. See in the last class we learned the topic derivation of equilibrium constants Kp and Kc. Derivation of equilibrium constants Kp and Kc and de derive the relation. Relation between Kp and Kc. Relation between Kp and Kc. The relation we learned Kp is equal to Kc into Rt power delta ng. This is the relation Kp and Kc we learnt. Now listen, now we can see the next topic. Equilibrium constants for heterogeneous equilibrium reaction. Equilibrium constants for heterogeneous equilibrium reaction. You can calculate the equilibrium constants for this heterogeneous reaction. Already you know heterogeneous reaction. What is mean by heterogeneous reaction? Heterogeneous means Reactants and products are in different phase. Reactants and products are in different phase means we can tell that only heterogeneous equilibrium reaction. So here your topic equilibrium constants. Calculate the equilibrium constants Kc and Kp for heterogeneous reaction. So you consider one simple example heterogeneous equilibrium. One of the simple example heterogeneous equilibrium is consider the example calcium carbonate. This calcium carbonate dissociates to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Calcium carbonate dissociates to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. In this example calcium carbonate is solid, calcium oxide solid and carbon Carbon dioxide is gaseous molecule. So here reactants are solid phase. Products are solid and gaseous phase. So both the reactants and products are in different phase. Understand? So your topic calculate the equilibrium constant Kc and Kp. You can write Kc and Kp value of this reaction. So can you tell the formula Kc? You learn the definition Kc. Kc definition concentration of ratio of concentration of product and concentration of reactant ratio of concentration of product to the concentration of reactant so can you tell the answer kc is equal to concentration of product means what are the product present calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so tell the answer concentration of calcium oxide and this is solid molecule solid and concentration of carbon dioxide gas divided by reactant concentration of calcium carbonate solid understand so you can write the kc formula kc is equal to concentration of product divided by concentration of Reactant. Now listen in this reaction a pure solid remains constant. Here pure solid remains constant. At equilibrium reaction pure solid remains constant. So here pure solid remains constant means here what are the solid example present? Calcium oxide and calcium carbonate. Calcium oxide and Calcium carbonate. So, this two solid remains constant. This two solid remains constant. So, solid constant means, can you tell the formula Kc? You can write the formula Kc. Kc is equal to, this one constant, your answer, carbon dioxide gas molecule. And calcium carbonate solid also constant. Understand? Understand? So, listen. So, in this example, here we can tell the explanation. The equilibrium constant Kc depends only on the concentration of carbon dioxide. The equilibrium constant Kc depends in this reaction. Equilibrium constant Kc depends only on the concentration of carbon dioxide. This one does not depend on the concentration of calcium oxide and calcium carbonate. This one does not depend on the concentration of calcium oxide and calcium carbonate. Understand? Understand? Okay. Now from this we can, the same way you can tell the answer Kp. You 
you can write the answer kp kp also first you can write pressure of instead of square bracket you can introduce the term p so you can write pressure of calcium oxide pressure of carbon dioxide pressure of calcium carbonate here pure solid remains constant means directly you can write the formula pressure of carbon dioxide gas pressure of carbon dioxide gas understand understand now we can consider one more example carbon dioxide carbon dioxide plus water molecule carbon dioxide plus water molecule gives your product is separately you write the ionic product you can write the product h plus and h co3 minus h plus and h co3 minus here you know carbon dioxide is gas water molecule liquid water molecule liquid this one ionic form ionic examples here listen now we can already we learned the topic concentration of pure solid at equilibrium pure solid concentration remains constant same way concentration of pure liquid remains constant concentration of pure liquid remains constant concentration of pure liquid remains constant liquid concentration constant means can you tell the formula kc formula of this equation tell the formula kc kc is equal to concentration of product concentration of h plus into concentration of h co3 minus divided by here concentration of carbon dioxide gases molecule this liquid remains constant so i got the answer this one so in this example we learned two main point concentration of pure solid and pure liquid remains constant understand understand this topic solution one more time your topic calculate the calculate the equilibrium constant kp and kc for heterogeneous equilibrium reaction consider on heterogeneous reaction calcium carbonate gives calcium oxide and carbon dioxide first write the kc formula kc means concentration of product divided by concentration of reactant in this reaction concentration of pure solid remains constant concentration of pure solid remains constant at the same way you can write you consider another one example and concentration of pure liquid remains constant and write the formula kc and kp understand this okay listen see now the next topic applications of equilibrium constant applications of equilibrium constant three applications of totally three applications of equilibrium constant first application this one equilibrium constant is used to predict the direction of the reaction the equilibrium constant helps to predict the direction of the reaction this one used to predict the direction of the reaction so this equilibrium constant helps to predict the direction of the reaction direction means we can say that is equilibrium or spontaneous or non spontaneous so you can predict the direction of the reaction then second point this one helps to predict the extent of the reaction this one helps to predict the extent of the reaction the equilibrium constant helps to predict the extent of the reaction extent of the reaction means we can say that reaction is forward reaction this forward or backward or reaction goes to complete that explanation you can say so this one equilibrium constant helps to predict the extent of the reaction helps to predict the extent of the extension of the extension you can say so help to predict the extent of the reaction then one more application this one used to calculate the equilibrium concentration of reactants and products the sun helps to calculate the equilibrium concentration of reactants and products so three applications one is this one helps to predict the direction of the reaction 
equilibrium constants help to predict the direction of the reaction. Then second application, this one helps to predict the extent of the reaction. Third application, this one helps to calculate the equilibrium concentration of reactants and products. Understand? Now listen, here the first application, direction of the reaction. Direction of the reaction. Equilibrium constants helps to predict the direction of the reaction. Listen, here you can consider one general homogeneous reversible reaction. You consider one reversible reaction. You consider a general reversible reaction. Ensemble reversible reaction Xa plus Yb gives Lc plus Md. You consider ensemble reversible reaction Xa plus Yb gives Lc plus Md. Understand? So for the above reaction, under non-equilibrium conditions, you can tell the definition reaction cohesion Q. Here you can tell the definition reaction cohesion Q. Reaction cohesion Q is defined as active mass of the product. Active mass of the product divided by active mass of the reactant under non-equilibrium conditions. Under non-equilibrium conditions. So here you can say the definition reaction cohesion Q. So tell the definition Q. Q is defined as ratio of active mass of product to the active mass of reactant under non-equilibrium conditions. Understand? Now listen, you can tell the formula Q is equal to active mass of product. Here what are the product? C and D. C power stoichiometric coefficient L. Into one more product D power M divided by reactant active mass of A power X into active mass of B power Y. Understand? Now listen, in this reaction, here in this example, in this reaction, you can tell the explanation. Suppose your Q value is equal to Kc. Here this Q value and Kc values are equal means. Q value is equal to Kc means we can tell that equation is equilibrium reaction. That equation is, that reaction is equilibrium reaction. Q value is equal to Kc means that is equilibrium reaction. Then second point, suppose this Q value is greater than Kc. This Q value is greater than Kc means the reaction will proceed in reverse reaction. The reaction will proceed in reverse reaction. Formation of reactants. Reverse. Formation of reactants. So, case Q value greater than Kc means reverse reaction. The reaction will proceed. This will proceed reverse reaction. Then suppose Q value is less than Kc means Q value Less than Kc means forward reaction. Reaction will proceed forward reaction. So formation of products. Formation of products. So Q value is equal to Kc means equilibrium. Q value greater than Kc means reverse reaction. This will proceed reverse reaction. And formation of reactants. Formation of reactants. Q value less than Kc means Reaction will proceed forward reaction and formation of products. Formation of products. Understand? So this one only, this will predict the, the equilibrium constant helps to predict the direction of the reaction. We are telling that is equilibrium or reverse reaction or forward reaction. Understand? See now the second application. Predict the extent of a reaction. Predict the Extent of a reaction. How far this reaction has proceeded? How far the reaction has proceeded? So this will explain the reaction. Extension of the reaction. Extension of the reaction. Now listen. Here we can learn one simple topic. First value of Kc. 
value of Kc and second column Kc value greater than 10 power minus 3. Kc value greater than 10 power minus 3. Then third one Kc value See, just we can explain the extension of a reaction. First Kc, then Kc value less than 10 power minus 3. Kc value greater than 10 power minus 3, less than 10 power 3. This one greater and this one less than 10 power 3. And next Kc value greater than 10 power 3. Kc value greater than 10 power 3. Now listen how we can explain this extension means. First explain the concentration of reactants and products. Explain the concentration of reactants and products. Concentration of reactants and products. First Kc value less than 10 power minus 3 means the concentration product concentration Product concentration to lesser than reactant concentration. Product concentration to very lesser than reactant concentration. Suppose this value greater than 10 power minus 3, less than 10 power 3 means significant quantity, particular quantity, significant quantity of reactants and products. Significant quantity of reactants and products. Then Kc value greater than 10 power 3 means this product concentration is too greater than reactant concentration. So listen, first we are explaining concentration of reactants and products. Concentration of reactants and products. In the first condition, product is concentration of product too lesser than concentration of reactant. Second case, Significant quantity of reactants and products. Significant quantity of reactants and products. In the third case we are telling. Concentration of product is too greater than concentration of reactant. Understand? See now the second point. Extent of reaction. Second point. Extent of reaction. How far this reaction has proceed? Here in the first condition. This one progress reaction makes a forward reaction. The reaction makes a forward reaction. The reaction makes a forward reaction. In the second case we can say both forward and reverse reactions make significant process. Both forward and backward reactions. The first case we are telling this one makes forward reaction. The second case we are telling both forward and backward reaction makes significant process. And the third case we can say reaction nearly goes to completion. The reaction nearly goes to completion. So second point extent of a reaction. The first condition we are telling forward reaction has proceed. This a reaction make forward reaction. Then the second case, both forward and backward reaction has proceed. The third case, we are telling reaction nearly goes to completion. Understand? The next point, we can tell the prediction. We can tell the prediction. Prediction. Predict the reaction. How we can tell the prediction means, here in the first case, we can say, reverse reaction is favored. Reverse reaction is favored. Then the second case, neither reverse nor neither forward nor reverse. Neither forward nor reverse reactions are favored. Neither forward nor reverse reactions are favored. Then the third case, forward reaction is favored. Forward reaction is favored. Understand? Then Fourth point, we can learn on symbol example. We can learn on symbol example. In the first case, we can learn the example. 2 heights 2 word dissociates to form. 2 heights 2 plus O2. 2 heights 2 word dissociates to form. 2 heights 2 plus O2. Understand? 
So in this example, in this reaction, you can learn the Kc value. Kc value 4.1 into 10 power minus 48. 4.1 into 10 power minus 48. Understand? Then the second case we can learn on simple example. Bromium chloride. Bromium or bromochloride. This one dissociates to form bromine and chlorine. Bromochloride. This one dissociates to form bromine and chlorine. In this example here your Kc value 5. Kc value 5. Then the last case we can learn the example hydrogen plus chlorine gives hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen plus chlorine gives hydrogen chloride. Here your Kc value you can write the Kc value 4 into 10 power 31. 4 into 10 power 31. Understand? So this one only predicting the extent of a reaction. Here only 4 points we learn. First point, concentration of reactants and products. Product concentration too lesser than reactant. Here significant quantity. Their, their product concentration too greater than reactant concentration. Then second point, extent. Here forward reaction. Here both forward and backward nearly goes to completion. Nearly goes to completion. Then third point, prediction. Reverse reaction is favored. Neither, neither forward reaction nor reverse reaction, they are forward reaction. Then last one example. Understand? Okay, see now take page number 8. Page number 8. Mark the question, equilibrium constants for heterogeneous equilibrium. Equilibrium constants for heterogeneous equilibrium. Just on equilibrium, heterogeneous reaction, there we return Kc value Kc. Then this explanation important, here pure solid concentration at a given temperature so that pure solid concentration remains constant. So we got this answer. Same way we can write Kp value. So just explanation they given. This sun equilibrium constant depends only on this carbon dioxide gaseous phase. This one does not depend on carbon dioxide, calcium oxide and calcium carbonate. And one more point, concentration of pure liquid remains constant. So in this example, this water molecule remains constant. So page number 9, we can write the answer. Kc is equal to concentration of H plus HCO3 minus divided by carbon dioxide. Water molecule remains constant. Understand? So just to note the answer, equilibrium constant means page number 8, this starting to page number 9, first till this Kc value. Understand? See page number 9, see this examples, write the Kp and Kc for the following reactions. Kp and Kc for the following reactions. First example, 2 sulfur dioxide plus O2 gives 2 SO3. In this example, how we can write the Kp and Kc value? Can you tell the formula Kc? First, Kc is equal to, Kc is equal to, here product SO3. So coefficient 2. So how we can write the answer? Tell the answer. Concentration of SO3. Power 2 divided by reactants SO2 and O2. So tell the answer. Concentration of SO2. Any coefficients present? 2. So concentration of SO2 power 2 into concentration of O2. Understand? This is Kc. Then how we can write Kp? Kp is equal to Instead of square bracket, introduce the term P. So, P of SO3 power 2 divided by P of SO2 power 2 into pressure of O2. Understand? Then, see the second example. Second example, 2 CO gives CO2 plus C. Here how we can write Kc value first. Kc is equal to 
Kc is equal to product CO2 and C. So your answer concentration of CO2, concentration of C divided by reactant CO coefficient 2 present. So you can write concentration of CO power 2. Understand? Then how we can write Kp? Kp is equal to instead of bracket write P. See here, see that the second example, solid carbon, carbon solid present. So, solid remains constant, isn't it? So, how we can write the answer? You can write the answer, concentration of carbon dioxide divided by concentration of CO power 2. This carbon remains constant. Then see the third example, sorry, first then Kp, how we can write Kp? Pressure of CO2. Divided by pressure of CO power 2. Understand? Then see the third example. Ag2O plus 2NH3 gives 2AgNO3 plus H2O. Here liquid present. So liquid water molecule remains constant. So tell the answer how we can write. Kp is equal to, sorry first Kc is equal to product. AgNO3 and H2O. So tell the answer. Concentration of AgNO3 coefficient 2 present. So power 2 into concentration of H2O divided by reactants. Concentration of Ag2O into concentration of NH3 power 2. Understand? Here water molecule liquid remains constant. So you can write the answer. Concent water molecule liquid. And here see this Ag2O solid. So both solid and liquid remains constant. So can you tell the answer? Concentration of. Concentration of. AgNO3. AgNO3. Divided by AgNO3 power 2 divided by concentration of NH3 power 2. Same way how we can write Kp. Kp is equal to pressure of AgNO3 power 2 divided by pressure of NH3 power 2. Understand? So this is. Kp and Kc values for some examples. Understand? Okay, now next topic. Page number 10. Page number 10. Note the answer. Applications of equilibrium constant. Applications of equilibrium constant. Three applications. This one helps to predict the direction of the reaction. Second application. Predict the extent of the reaction. Third application, calculate the equilibrium concentration of reactants and products. And here first they given extent of reaction. Just read this and note the tabular column fully. This is only extent of a reaction. First Kc, Kc value less than 10 power minus 3. Kc value greater than 10 power minus 3 or less than 10 power 3. Greater than 10 power 3. First concentration. Product 2 lesser, significant quantity 2 greater. Then second point, extent of reaction. Forward reaction, both forward and backward nearly goes to completion. Then third point, prediction, reverse reaction. Neither forward nor reverse, forward reaction. Then learn this example and learn the Kc value. So this is the stabler column fully, extent of a reaction. Extent of a reaction. Understand? Then see the next application. Predict the direction of a reaction. Here first consider a reversible reaction. The reaction question Q. This is important two more question. Reaction question Q is defined as ratio of product of active mass of reaction products rise to respective stoichiometric coefficients in the balanced chemical equation to that of the reactants. Under non-equilibrium condition you can write Q formula. The same page, page number 11 only, right side, Q is equal to 
active mass c power l into d power m divided by a power x into b power y. Understand? Then continuously read this paragraph. And this one only correctly predicts on q value is equal to kc means we are telling that is equilibrium. Then q value greater than kc means we are telling that is that reaction proceed reverse reaction formation of reactants. Q value less than Kc means that and proceed forward reaction formation of products. Understand? Okay, see this one like on problem page number 11. Page number 11, the question. First they given one equation equilibrium constant K1. Second equation equilibrium constant K2. Third equation equilibrium constant K3. Relate their equilibrium constants. Just relate their equilibrium constant. How we can relate this equilibrium constants means first in the first equation can you write the equilibrium constant k1 k1 is equal to how we can write concentration of product divided by concentration of reactant. So here products n bo power coefficient 2 divided by reactants concentration of n2 in the concentration of O2. Understand? Then, second equation, you can write K2. So, tell the formula K2. K2 is equal to product NO2 power coefficient 2 divided by reactants. NO power 2 into concentration of O2. Understand? Now, listen. Your question Relate their equilibrium constant. How we can relate means? See, just to multiply equilibrium constant K1 into K2. Equilibrium constant K1 into K2. So, can you tell the formula K1? Concentration of NO power 2 divided by concentration of N2 into concentration of O2 into K2. Concentration of NO2 power 2 divided by Concentration of NO power 2 into concentration of O2. Understand? So, in this equation, you can cancel NO power 2 into NO power 2. So, tell the answer now. You can write the answer. Concentration of NO2 power 2 divided by concentration of N2 into 2 O2 present. So, you can write concentration of O2 power Understand? So, this is K1 into K2 is equal to this answer. See, this value is equal to K3. See, now we can write third equation. K3 equilibrium constant value. Can you tell the answer? K3 concentration of NO2 power 2 divided by third equation. Concentration of N2 into concentration of O2 power 2. Understand? See this equation. This, this is similar to K3. So, these two values are same. So, you can write K1 into K2 is equal to substitute the value. This one is equal to K3. K1 into K2 is equal to K3. Understand? So, this is the relation. K1, K2 is equal to K3. Understand this? Okay, now take page number 11. Page number 11, this is the problem. Example, consider the following reaction and relate their equilibrium constants. K1, K2, K3, they given. First write K1 value, K2 value. K1 into K2 and this value is equal to K3. So, you got the relation. K3 is equal to K1 into K2. Understand? See, now take page number 11. See, read these two examples also. Example 1. The value of Kc, Kc value they given and one chemical equation H2 plus I2 gives 2 HI. In this equation they given the Kc value and they given some more values. Page number 12, page number 12. They given some more values, concentration of H2, concentration of I2. See they given the values. Concentration of H2 they given 0.2. Concentration of I2 0.2. Concentration of HI 0.6. Read 
see the equation page number 11 h2 plus i2 gives 2 hi. So you can write kc formula. So can you tell the formula kc? kc or q here they return. So you can write the formula concentration of. So here you write page number 11. Here you write the kc formula. kc is equal to concentration of hi power 2 divided by concentration of hi2 in the concentration of I2. Understand? You can substitute all the values. Here they substituted. You know the value. Had concentration of Hi chai they given 0 0.6 power 2 divided by concentration of Hi chai to 0 0.2 into 0 0.2. Understand? Just multiply this answer. See, just to multiply the sun. If you are multiplying 6, 6 or 36. So, you will get the answer 0 0.36 divided by 4.2 into point 0.2 means that is point 0.4. If you are dividing this, you got the answer. See, page number 12. Page number 12, you got the answer 0 0.9. 0 0.9 and see the equation see the question page number 11 they given the kc value 717 7, 717 see the q value q value 9 only if you are comparing the two value which one is greater kc value greater isn't it so q value less than kc q value less than KC. Compare KC, the skew value is lesser. So you can consider that is the reaction will proceed in forward direction. Reaction will proceed in forward direction. Same way, one more example they given. Just to read this example. Here in this example, they given the KC value 0 0.21 and they given all the concentration value 0 0.125 and another one value 0 0.5. First from this calculate the Q value. Q is equal to concentration of NO2 power 2 divided by concentration of N2O4. Substitute this value 0 0.5 power 2 divided by 0 0.125. Multiply and divide this. If you are dividing you got the answer 2. But KC value 0 0.21. Q value 2. Which one is greater? Q value only greater. So Q value greater than KC. Q value greater than KC. So you can tell that reaction will proceed in reverse reaction. Two examples they given. Reaction will proceed forward reaction on example. Reaction will proceed reverse reaction on example. Just read this are the examples. Understand? The note the homework person. Tomorrow's homework. First page number 8. Page number 8. Derivation of equilibrium constant for heterogeneous equilibrium reaction. Then page number 10. Applications of equilibrium constant. There are two applications we learn. Predict the extent of a reaction and predict the direction of a reaction. The two topics learn thoroughly. Understand? Okay. Thank you.